Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Karen and I am the owner of two businesses, Wiggle Wags and Kaz, which is a dog apparel and accessories um, business. And the other business is Little Miss Sweet Pea, which is a baby embroidery um, bodysuit business and t-shirts and hoodies and scrunchies. Today, I am wanting to complete another design. This is what I'm going to be working on today. How cute is that? I'm going to use um, this fluffy material. You can't really see on there, but it's actually super soft and a bit furry. So that will look good on the little baby onesie and feel super soft as well. And I also want to complete um, the Winnie the Pooh uh, leaf framed um, mock-up design and do the photo shoot for that today as well. I'd actually completed that one yesterday, but didn't get to post it. Um, but hopefully I will shortly. So, um, but first things first, who doesn't like getting packages? Definitely not me, love getting packages. And I received one today. I thought I'd open it up here. Just show you guys what I got. When I bought my heat press it's over there, I actually got this Teflon sheet, whatever you want to call it, I'm not too sure. It's a protector to go over the material so it doesn't scorch it. Um, and I needed some more, so I purchased through Amazon's a few more. I think there's three in here. Cool. So they feel a bit thicker as well. So that's pretty cool. I'll see how they work out later on. A bit different. Okay, three sheets of them. I only received one with the machine, so it's good to have a few on hand. And also with my um, t-shirts and hoodies that I make, Sometimes I need to stick down um, the vinyl, the HTV vinyl, and I use normal sticky tape and then peel it off before I heat press it. I did actually forget once and yeah, that was a mistake. So I had seen on somebody else's channel, um, them using heat sticky tape. Um, is that what you call it? Heat? What do you call it? Well, anyway, heat resistant sublimation tape, which I guess would be the same for heat um, HTV, so I can't see any difference. So I might test run this on um, old piece of fabric and see how it goes. I hope it works well because I've muffed up a couple of hoodies because um, they've shifted at the last minute and they haven't stuck down. There hasn't been enough sticky on the actual um, the vinyl for it to stick down So, and it has shifted. So that is not good. So this will be really handy. Can't wait to use that. Hopefully it works really well. Um, looks like normal tape. Oh. Anyway, we'll see how that goes when I do an order that's coming up, which is good. Anyway, I wanna get started doing this um, little baby bodysuit design. I also had completed yesterday, um, let me show you. I had completed two burp bibs. This is a part of a set that I want to put together for my Etsy shop, so I'll see how that goes. And also a little baby wrap, so with soft minky, so cute. 
and so soft. So we'll see how that one goes. All right, for now, I need to get started on this little design. stitch of the little lamb and now I'm putting the applique piece of material down and we're going to do the tack down stitch. Another thing as well, I need to cut off the excess of the app app applique so Let's see if I can show you what I'm doing. So I've now finished it. Just got to take it off and take the water soluble um, off and cut this extra stitch lines there. Okay, let's go over here. I like to actually pin down my little bodysuits on top of the um, stabilizer. It's especially with these little bodysuits, the newborns, it's just so tight with pulling it over the hoop. So I'd rather float it on top and pin it down. I don't have a problem with it. There's no holes. Um, once I start stitching out the design, I can actually remove some of the pins because it's secured. And it's not a problem but yeah i pin down my little bodysuits and i'll just rip the stabilizer or cut it might be easier if i just cut it And of course, you've got to be so careful you don't actually cut the, um, the bodysuit 
which I have done. I've done that a few times. Going against the grain is always harder to cut. of the, the threads on the back here. Especially ones that are sticking up. Ones that are stitched down well, probably don't need to worry about. But just the excess ones sticking up. So I'll put some tender touch on the back of that so it doesn't irritate little Bubba's skin. Right, let's turn this on. Okay. Still got some of the water soluble on there. I probably actually did not need to worry about the water soluble on top because it stitched down really well um i don't know maybe next time i'll give it a go without the water soluble see how that goes some threads Someone's home. Dogs are barking. Well, we we'll stop now. Okay, this is a little tricky. Probably should have cut that jump one. Jump jump thread before the satin stitch went over it. Now it's a bit hard to get out. You can still see it. See, there's a little bit of a dark thread there, which I should have cut when it jumped from here. Oh, actually, when it jumped from here to here, and it's now stuck under there. Might be able to get away with it. Oh, I don't know. I'll have a look at it a bit later, try and see if I can get it out. Lesson learnt for next time. This is my first time actually using this design. It's actually stitched out really well, so I'm happy with it. I think I just need to stop the machine and cut these threads before getting this far. water soluble on there so I'll just try and get that up okay. oh, some more. just scrap 
switch it off. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little bit of a shiny plastic on top. Well, it's not plastic, it's water soluble. Which I did see you can probably get a little piece of hand towel, just damp hand towel and stick it on, lay it on top and it would actually lift off the water soluble. That's all upstairs. I don't want to do that. This works just as fine. But if you have some real tricky little areas that you need to get um, the water soluble out, that's probably your best bet. Good. It's a bit hard seeing in this light. Okay, I think it's done. I just need to get that one little bit. Can you see it? Just there. Just there. There you go. How cute! It's so cute! This will go with bring it back. So that's the little the little bodysuit. Yeah, and I'll be back. I will do set two burp bits and a little minky wrap with the onesie yes and everybody went oh how cute Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today and watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Bye.